walking and praising. Leaping, walking, and praising. Shirag, he, how, how does he go from being carried everywhere to leaping, walking, and praising? Because somebody loved him enough that didn't know him. That's real love. You don't know somebody you love. He loves him enough unconditionally that he says to him, get up. You got legs. It's almost like Stephanie saying, have you tried it? Have you tried me? Have you tried what I told you in the Word? Have you tried it? Trust in the Lord and lean not be on and say, have you tried it? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added. Have you tried it? That's right. We walk by faith and not by sight. Have you tried it? But so go forth my covenant out of my mouth that it shall not return unto me void. Have you tried it? Hallelujah. He starts walking, leaping, and praising God. So why all this in the appreciation service for saved, faithful pastor? Because I said to you a while ago that physically I have not been in this church, but my spirit has been here. And so I'm clear, I'm very accurate on what I'm saying about him without knowing him. That's what I love about the spirit. I ain't got to have had lunch with you to know your spirit. I just have to talk to you a couple seconds. So yeah, he good man. He ain't walk around here saying, well, five years, how you like us? Bless the wonderful name. My wife's on her way. I locked myself out of the office, but praise God anyway. <laughs> it wasn't all deep. So, you know, so deep they drown, and you need on hip waiters to talk to them. Very, very approachable. Very reachable. That's why I love him and his wife unconditionally. Because they're two kinds of crazy, like me and my wife. <laughs> Just love the Lord. Just crazy for him. All right, what's going on over there? Can't take you nowhere. You all strike that from the ledger. What does she say? Just, we're going to deal with her in the pocket. <laughs> so what am I depositing here? What am I depositing? I'm depositing the fact that you should remember on the regular how you were once a paralytic, paralyzed by something in your life. And now you're a praiser. You were once incapacitated. Could not move because you had no trust. And could not respond to the question, can God, with any sense of acclaim and any sense of acuity, that yes, he can. But now you're praising God. Because God has used your pastor to continually, week after week, month after month, year after year, to speak Rhema into you. And so we salute this man today. Because we salute you today. Hallelujah. You see, oh, baby, give me a paper towel. Thank you. I must be right green to stand up here. While you're standing, stretch your hands to the stand. God, I'm going to speak only what you told me to speak over his life. The building is being made ready because this place can't hold what you have to offer. I am taking you and your wife through this season. Everything looks strange right now because you're in a new place in your faith. 